Good morning, my beautiful YouTube family. You guys, Mirabella Cosmetics has sent me so much makeup. I am so excited to tell you guys about it and tell you guys how I got this look and what my thoughts on it all is. Here it all is, you guys. I am so excited and so very, very grateful for it. Beautiful Miranda Cogden, who owns Miranda <laughs> Mirabella Cosmetics. You are absolutely fantastic, and thank you so very much for sending me all this to try out. I'll see y'all Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our new subscribers. You guys, we're really rocking it. Make sure you are still subscribed. YouTube's doing their thing as usual. So, you guys, what we have today is Mirabella Cosmetics. Look at these lips. This is their velvet lip line, and I am absolutely in love with it. Mwah! Look, no transfer. This is my beautiful shade here. Let me get on the glasses so I can tell you what the shade name is. You guys, I am absolutely in love with these. I'm going to need this in every shade that they have. This shade here is called Forever. Look at this. It is, oh, it's Gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And it's transfer proof. Y'all know how I love my transfer proof lippies. <laughs> I love them. So I have had this on. Got little no off to school at about 7 o'clock this morning. 7.30. And it is uh, 1 o'clock now. So 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30. 12.30. We're five and a half hours in. It, it still looks like I just put it on. Velvet lip line. Shade forever. Gonna need every color in it. Thank you so very much. A beautiful Mir Mirabella Cosmetics. What a cute name. My youngest daughter's name is Bella, so I, I'm loving that so much. And they also sent one of their uh, lipsticks. A look at the packaging. I love the white and gold. That is just so chic, so pretty. And it has that little pop that you top off to do your swatches on, or if you run out of your actual tube of lipstick, you have your little extra in here. This is what you're actually supposed to do the swatches with, you guys, not the tubes in the stores. Use these, and then just pop it right back on like that. So I'm gonna do a little swatch of this one here for you guys so you can see what it, it's just a beautiful nude lip. That's what it's called, nude beige. Just a gorgeous, creamy lipstick. It's gorgeous look at that packaging that is beautiful so it actually feels very very hydrating we're going to go ahead and wipe that one off you guys because they also sent an eyeshadow palette and i want you to do the swatches with you of the shades that i used on my eyes first i want to show you their silicone free lifting face primer serum this is called awake what am i so excited about their face primer about guys as i said put this on five and a half hours ago Look, so far I don't have that settling, and I also have their foundation on too. You know how I always get it up underneath here, up in my creepiness? It's not settling in. It, like, it actually just let the foundation adhere to it and didn't like, you. there was no stickiness to it whatsoever. It did have a type of smell that I cannot explain. I'm not sure what to explain the smell is, but here it is. It just takes about that much, you guys. That's all to do your entire face. Silicone free, a lifting properties in it. And it just, look, it shears right on out. Not sticky, nothing. I'm just, mm. but I'm not, not sure what that smell is though. I'm not quite familiar with that. I'll have to ask Miranda what that smell is in that. But it worked absolutely phenomenal. Like I said, we're five and a half hours in and my face is still looking like I just applied my makeup. It really is, you guys. I love it. I do not have a setting spray on. I wanted to give this face primer the, you know, the full money, the full try of it all. And it's doing fantastic. It really is. I'm loving it. She also sent their eyebrow pencil. This is in the shade medium. It is a brown shade. I normally use taupe, and I actually thought this was going to be too dark for me, but look, it's not... I really do like how it has that tiny little tip on it so you can do those natural hair fibers. Let's go ahead and put a little bit there so you can see. Right there. Look at that. You can get it as small as you want or just fill in those gaps. You can do a real natural brow or you can do those Instagram brows where they're just cut and chiseled. And then, of course, it has the spoolie on the end. 
I really did like it. Like, it gave me that very natural, natural look. And it was very, like, creamy when you applied it and then dries down completely matte. It was very easy to work with. I, I really enjoyed the brow pencil a lot. Ugh. They also sent their pressed powder mineral foundation. Look at the packaging. How gorgeous is that? I did use this on top of the liquid foundation that they sent. So yes, you guys, I did the no-no. I put a powder on top of a liquid. Why did I do that? Because the liquid foundation, it's a medium to full coverage, which that one is right here. It is in the shade Fair, which I did use. But right now, let's showcase their pressed mineral foundation. Just like the one I showed the other day. Ouch. Sorry. Back, I just said sorry to the table, you guys. I just bopped my elbow and said sorry to the table. What? Okay, back to the mineral foundation. I did put some right over where I have my lupus scarring to go ahead and give it a bit more coverage because you guys know I don't like that showing through. I really don't. And this covered it up, but I did use it on top of the liquid foundation. And there she is again now. It is a lot lighter. So it's actually the shade of a concealer that I would use. It is a lot lighter than the liquid foundation. Now this is the HD Triple Threat Foundation. You guys, it did help soften out my fine lines and wrinkles. It didn't um, seep into them, but I think that was because of the Awake Face Primer. I mean, anymore, I don't put on foundation without a face primer, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Anyways, I love the shade of this. I actually thought it was going to be way too light. Like, I have not done contouring yet at all because I didn't know what else they were going to send me. But there is a contour shade in this palette, and I am going to do it with you guys while I do some swatches. Again, this shade here is in the shade Fair. It was about that much, and I did my entire face, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and... Sheer that it is silicone free. I really thought it was gonna be way too light for me. It's really not, you guys. I mean, look, it's it's really, really not. It I don't think it oxidized, it just blended out so beautifully. It just it just looked like my real natural skin, and it, it is a medium to full coverage. Um, it's not heavy, it's not thick, it's not sticky. I'm I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. I really thought it was going to be the wrong shade for me, but it it seems to be doing just fine. Now, let's get to this eyeshadow palette, you guys. It's so stinking cute. Look, I love you. <laughs> and look, the gold on white packaging. I think that's so pretty and so chic. Look at the class. So pretty. Just pop it open like that. Of course, you have your mirror. And then here's the shades. That big center oval one is an actual highlighter. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put some of that on right now. And then we'll go and do that contour with the shade in here that I was telling you guys about. Yeah, look. Whoa. Look at that beamer. Yeah, and I also want to put some up underneath my eyebrows because I did not do that. And we're just going to put a little bit. Just a little bit. Now. Here is the finished look I did with this eyeshadow palette, and then I'll swatch the ones for you that I actually used. You guys, this is done with all shimmers that's in this palette, besides the base one, which we're getting ready to use as a contour. I was blown away. Yes, there was fallout, but you guys, with a very pigmented palette, you're going to have a lot of fallout. I mean, that's Majority rules. I mean, that's just what it is. If there's a lot of pigment in a palette, you're going to have a lot of fallout in it. It just is what it is. So, I actually used this gorgeous silver right here. I did on the outer corners here. So, I'm going to go ahead and give it a little swatch for you guys. Look at that. I had to shear that out so much because of the pigment. I mean, wow. It's a shimmer. I was just, I was blown away. Blown away. And then I used this one right here for the center of the eye. So let's go ahead and swatch it out. Look at that. Whoa. Another shimmer. Y'all, I'm, I'm really blown away with the pigmentation in here. 
there is actually this yellow in here, you guys. That's what I use for my inner corner. Look. Yeah. Just look at that sheen. I'm just, wow. And then I also took some of the silver and went up underneath for an eyeliner and then to my little loop -de -loop wings that I do. I mean, just very subtle, very simple, very easy. I'll do some close-up pictures for you guys, and I'll put them right there for you and right there for you. Now, as I said, I use this brown one here for my base coat. This one right here, and I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. It is one of the mattes that's in here besides the black. What did I do? Oh, I went right over the yellow. Oops. It's right here. It's the brown matte that's in here, and then this black is also a matte, which I didn't use today. But we are going to use the brown for contouring today. So you guys can see it in action. Let's get this hair out of the way. Um, I'm going to have to go on their site and do the pricing on here. Now, look. Wow. Let's get it off there. We're just going to do a very chiseled looking look. Whoa. Yeah, you might be way too skinny of a brush here. Oh boy, it is. Let's get a thicker brush out. Let's just go ahead and use our daisy brush again. Hair out of the way. Wow. That's an eyeshadow, you guys. Go ahead and do it up there. That little bronzy look. Little sun-kissed look. Chisel out that chin. Just like that. So easy. Not going to do the nose. I have a little nose. You guys, I don't really contour my nose all that much. Now, <clears throat> there is, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six shimmers in here and two mattes. And then that very center one, seven, is a highlighter. I loved this palette, you guys. You can do a very smoked out eye with it, as you see from the pictures again. Blended easily. I was not expecting the pigment that came with this because of it being shimmers. I just really wasn't expecting all that pigment. It's pigmented. It's very, very pigmented. Very pigmented. And as you guys see, everything that I received is very, very, very long wearing. We're five and a half. It's two hours in <clears throat> since I started started this video. I had some phone complications. So it's almost time to go pick up. No, it's almost three o'clock now. So that's seven hours of wearing makeup now. Look. You guys. I'm really loving Mirabella's makeup. Like I said, I'm going to have to get every shade in these velvet lippies that there are. I loved it. As you guys know, I love my transfer proof lipsticks. My hair doesn't get caught up in it. Um, it doesn't end up on your coffee cups or your drink cups all day long. You know, you drink it out of. You don't have to keep reapplying them. I love transfer proof lipsticks. And it's been on for seven freaking hours. Look, seven hours. I'm very blown away. Thank you so very, very much, Miranda with Mirabella. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The smell dissipated. I'm trying to see if it's on the wipe. The smell did dissipate from the face primer. Like, it's completely gone. I just don't know how to explain that smell, though. Hmm. Again, these does this does have lifting properties in it, so it's going to be good for your face as well as it's doing its job too. So that is just fantastic. All right, my loves. So far, I have nothing bad to say about Mirabella's makeup here. Very creamy lipstick, <laughs> transfer proof a lip crayon. Their eyebrow pencil does do the natural brow, just like it claims. It was so easy to use. I mean, it wasn't. A lot of majority of little eyebrow sticks like this, you have to warm them up before they'll glide on easily or it's very skippy. And it pulls your brows and it hurts. This one didn't do that. It really didn't, you guys. Their pressed mineral foundation. We're, we're doing all right with you. Seven hours in now. Yeah. Now, I would say that this shade here is too light for me. Um, Let's see. It's mineral foundation. Pure Press. What shade is this? I'm not sure what the shade this is, but I do know that the liquid foundation is in fair, so I'm going to assume that this is in fair because it's actually a whole lot lighter than the liquid foundation. It, it was too light for me, but look, it looked perfect for where I needed just that little touch more cover up. 
from this, and I only put on one layer of this, you guys, one. I bet I could have went back in with more instead of using that, but I wanted to try them both out. I have no qualms with this, none. The shimmers are still shimmering. It's not patchy. I'm, yeah, no, no qualms whatsoever. We're doing excellent. Thank you again so very, very much, Miranda, with Mirabella Cosmetics. Your girl has become an affiliate with them now. Um, no, I am not making any money off of it. It will be used for products on their site. And I will leave it down below in the description for you guys. Guys, yeah, yeah I'm loving Mirabella Cosmetics. I don't have anything bad to say. Nothing. We're good to go. All right, loves. Girl, see you in the next video. Bye, guys.